Hey everybody, I'm Lynn Bellis with Bellis World Travel and this here's Rob. And uh, we're coming at you today because we want to personally invite you to go on our 2015 winter getaway with us to the Caribbean. Um, we are flying out of Chicago um, a day early so that we don't risk missing the boat due to a weather delay or some such thing. And we're going to stay overnight at South Beach in, in Miami because it's a historic... Um, Art Deco. Art Deco historic. Phenomenal Art Deco yeah, it's the first area of Miami Beach that was ever developed as as a resort area. And it's got the coolest, you know, pastel pink hotels and stuff. Anyway, we we booked a really cool hotel there for the night before our cruise. And then and then we're gonna get um, a van up to the port on Sunday. We're gonna sail away on Sunday on a Holland America seven night cruise. So we'd love for you to join us and, and if you come with us, all you have to do is book with us and and then you can hang with us. We don't charge extra or anything like that. Um, so we're going to tell you about where we're going to go and what we're going to do there. And we have a pretty good idea. Some of the places we've been to before, not all of them, but we have a pretty good idea of the things that we like to do. And we've done a little bit of research so far. And as we get closer to time to go, we're going to know all the details. So we'll see you at the end. But so we're going to sail away on Sunday, right, Rob? Yep. Yeah. Where are we going? Uh, we start out with uh, Days at Sea. You know, a day at sea, um, good chance to relax and recuperate from the flight and the packing and the hectic yeah, of nice. getting out of town, right. lay on deck, figure out where all the food is that you get to eat, oh, where all the bands are. The ship too, so you don't get lost. And, and, well, and we have a favorite <laughs> piano player on this one. Um, he was on a cruise we took oh, seven, eight a, years ago. It was a long one. It, it was a long one, and season. he is fantastic. So we will definitely see him the we'll first night yeah. at the piano bar. But our first port of call will be um, Grand Turk. Um, it's a very small island. It's part of a string of islands, an archipelago that um, was originally a British colony. Um, the Canadians went there and have settled the place. And there was some hullabaloo in the 60s about them trying to take over and actually being a Canadian island. I've um, never been island. there. Um, have you? I have been there. Been um, okay, well, uh, you're taking me there then. <laughs> um, I'll be your guest. One of the hot things to go there is there's some really nice snorkeling. Um, I have yet to figure out um, what we have available to us in terms of a purchase snorkel tour. Um, there, it, it's a natural area. Gibbs K is the kind of center of this. Well, there's a historic district and there too, though, isn't there? There is, um, and we will go through some portion of that. It's a, like I said, very small island. Um, depending on how many of us there are, we get either a small taxi, um, motor scooter, <laughs> um, van or something. Cockburn Town is a historic district. There's um, a national park. There's a I national there park a national there. Park. Um, there's a, a beautiful mm -hmm. museum. Um, it's um, Bermudan style architecture, um, typical of the island that was built oh, by. Oh, it so it's going to be colonized um, and, I love that and classical in nature okay. it's similar New Orleans style um, <laughs> the frou-frou if you will that goes with it colonnades it's pastel porches colors with white trim right well and it, it's uh, classical it's, elements yeah. there's a lot right. of if you like Victorian architecture yeah. you'll appreciate it. even on the small buildings that there's a lot of decoration um, Chickens in the front yard. Anyway, so we'll probably streets. do some snorkeling there because it's out in the middle of the sea, and you're bound to see some good, really cool stuff there. And, and we'll probably do. We'll, we'll we always walk kind of to and from whatever beach we might go to, or or we take a taxi, or we do something. In, we don't do a tour kind of style of traveling. Um, we do on our own. We get to interact with people that way, and we, get, we make friends actually on these islands. It's really cool. So. Anyway, then what's day two? Then um, the next port of call is um, San Juan, Puerto Rico. Oh, I don't know right. if we have a sea day in between or not, right? Uh, uh, no, I don't okay. believe we do, but, um, but anyway, we go I to San Juan. We go to San Juan, Puerto Rico. It's well, the second that. port of call, yeah. and that that's one of our favorites. Yeah. We, um, we've been there on a number of cruises. We've spent a week there just together. Yeah. We spent a week there with our children. Yeah, um, there will not be enough time to see San Juan, let alone Puerto Rico. San Juan is on the side of a hill. Uh, well, it's it's sea level on one side, and then you go up the hill, and on the other side it's a cliff. And you can walk across Old San Juan, um, which is kind of a peninsula, and it's the historic district that, that was once the old city, and there was a wall around the entire city. And so there's two areas that are fortresses at this time. 
Well, yeah, and um, one of the fortresses is the largest fort in the Caribbean. And mm -hmm. it's fully restored. It's, it's, it's amazing. You could yeah, spend a so day cool. at the one fort just alone. Yeah. Um, there's trivia. There's little holes and stairways. Um, each time we each go, time we, we find go, something new. We get in a new. different little tunnel. You know, it's really cool. Yeah. And, and like I said, you can't spend enough time there. There are considered 400, over 400, significant architectural buildings just in, in old san juan, san juan. Yeah. so you can't even begin to see it there's the governor's mansion um we've been there enough times we've only made it in once because so it's always closed we need our walking shoes for old san juan so pack your pack yours okay and, and um we'll all go together and we have a great time every time we might try some mofongo. Well, you guys can, but I don't want any because I decided... We I will know. have Puerto Rican rum. Yeah. We do not have hey, enough time. Hey, that's what we can do. We could run out to the rum factory. Well, that's a day, half day in itself. Like well, I said, we don't have enough time. It depends on what everybody wants Somebody to do. might want to run you to know, the rum once factory. Once we assemble our group of travelers, we're going to know who wants to do what and what's the most popular thing. And that's what we'll do. You there know is rum people. sampling in downtown, and we will do that. Okay. <laughs> cool. Yeah, I'll count on it. So then what's next? Then the next port of call is um, St. Thomas. It's part of the U.S. Virgin Islands. It's actually oh, yeah. U.S. territory. It's one of the few places you could go to without a um, passport. Yeah. You could get on the boat. You could do you all this. Old San Juan never get off. It's a US True. Ship. Okay. You you could do this. You could mm -hmm. get on. You could see San Juan. You could see a U.S. Virgin Islands. And um, one of the um, features there, it's a fairly modern U.S. territory. But there's Market Square that is a cute old town area. Well, some, yeah, all the jewelry. Some residential. Well, well, we'll dock in Charlotte, Amalie, That's where or, we went for our honeymoon. Or near we Charlotte. To, we were in St. Thomas on our honeymoon trip. Yeah. Mm -hmm. there, the, Charlotte, yeah, Amalie is the port, though. We went to the beach though. that day. And, and we had to hitch a ride. We, we were trying to get a ride to the beach. That was funny. We were trying to get a ride to the beach. And... And nobody, there wasn't a cab around, and all there was is this big tourist bus, you know, one of those open sided thingies. And, and the guy kept trying to get us to get on the tour bus, and he was going to give us a tour of the island. We go, we don't want a tour of the island, we just want to ride to the beach, you know. Finally, we talked him into it, and he says, Okay, fine, get on my tour bus for five bucks, I'll take you to the beach, I'll pick <laughs> you up later. <laughs> that was great. Well, we got the $25 so, tour. So we got the tour, because of course, <laughs> he's talking to all the other people, and we're listening too, so it's kind of funny. Um, one of the highlights, supposedly, is Blackbeard's Castle. You access that via the 99 Steps, which is a fairly large staircase through a residential neighborhood. Steps? Um, Those are good on, on a day. Yeah, we need our exercise. Well, and the nice thing about it is it's through a residential neighborhood, which oh, means yeah. you get a peek in people's houses. You, you get, get to see a lot of local yeah. culture, and we yeah. always love the opportunity to do that. The steps themselves, they aren't hard, it isn't much. Blackbeard's Castle is got a bigger reputation. Um, it, it's a lot of rebuild, but there's a beautiful view on the right day from the top of Blackbeard's Castle. Um, one of the cutest things we stumbled upon, I think the second time or third time we were there, was um, Frederick's Lutheran Church. It's an oh, ancient, yeah, that was cute. ancient yeah, Lutheran that was really Church. Cute. We're kind of poking our nose in, and some guy. And there's that, that fort that wasn't open. Yeah, um, oh, I'll, we'll we will there. try to pull on the doors. We'll walk around that entire yeah. building. It's a pink fort. It looks Sometimes really if cool. Sometimes we find a construction site, we just go on in, and and usually people just kind of look out and go. Get to see and then we leave. And if you get lucky, one time when we were there, some guy on the street goes, psst, psst, Fill out a survey, I'll give you two bottles of rum. Yeah. Yeah, we went and sat through okay. some little program, and since we've been there, uh, we said, Okay, we're kind of tired and bored and not into this. And we sat there for oh, maybe 45 minutes through some program and said, Thank you much. And we walked out of there with two <laughs> bottles of rum. Um, Took it to the beach and drank it. Yeah. <laughs> And had a pretty good time because of that. Yeah, that was funny. So anyway, the last one, we are on a seven-night voyage, and, and there's four ports of call, and the last one is Happening Key, which is a cruise line private island, and so there's really not much there in the way of architecture, but so we're going to probably do the water activities, or we're going to check out Mother Nature's architecture. I guess there's some um, walking paths or hiking trails. Most there. of the island is bird sanctuary. Okay, cool. Um, oh, birds. The island was bought by, don't quote me on this, Princess. <laughs> it, it, yeah, it's shared. I mean, Carn it it, Carnival has it. Holland has it. Um, one of the cruise lines purchased the island. This was back before everybody owned their own island. Yeah. 
they came in, it was totally undeveloped. There is a small amount of so Bahamian. Don't they have a resort there. Or oh, there's a huge yeah, resort. There was a small resort. amount of Bahamian architecture, and there's still a little of it. it it's not really ancient or old. It, it's newer well, Bahamian it's architecture. Maybe. Yeah. Well, <laughs> so we're gonna have fun. There's a cute day. church if you want to get married. It's a nice place to go and get married in the cute church. But by and large, there's a lot of um, activities that the cruise line has available for you, water sports and okay, sure. sell you yeah. stuff and all that. And I think we're going to spend most of our time trying to get to the portion, like I say, 90% of the island is sanctuary and walking paths and all that. The and beautiful bird, birds are beautiful on the islands. You know, you'll, you'll find the bright colored birds and, you know, uh, maybe not the tropical birds that you'll see in South America, but you'll hear them for sure and they're pretty cool. And if you've had it by this point in the cruise, you do have one more day after this. There's a day at sea at the end of it yeah. to recover. Right. But if you have, if you need another day to recover, you can get a private cabana on the beach, courtesy of the cruise line. I don't know the price, and oh, right. sit you there sit. and drink right. and sit on the beach and treat mm -hmm. it as a relaxation day that's true. too. Yep. Yeah, you don't have to tromp every day, and that's the beauty of cruising because that's why we love it because there's something for everybody. And if all you want to do is sit in a chair, they got plenty of those too. So, and you don't even need to leave the ship, but we always leave the ship because we love the people and the culture and what we learn when we go. So anyway, we hope you decide to take advantage of joining us, if not this year, maybe next year. And we usually share our trips. Um, so we're going to share our trips and let you know when we're going and where we're going. And everybody's always welcome to come along. Just look through our website and or call us on the phone and... We'll help you through it, and and then we can go together and have a great time. All right? Awesome. Thank you. Thank you.